year 2020 was a really tough year for everyone. Schools were canceled, restaurants closed, and many people became very ill. Because of these tragic events, many people were without jobs in the United States and went to an economic crisis. When school was finally able to open back up, our group met with each other and took in the issue of the main problems of today. It didn't take long for us to realize what many people in our country were probably feeling the effects of the economic crisis, and they were probably going without most of their basic needs. We even made a survey that showed that most students were feeling the effect of the economic downturn. It also stated that most students didn't have the correct skills they needed to be resourceful at the time. So we decided to start by creating a helpful Halloween YouTube video. Because Halloween was a widely celebrated holiday coming up, we discovered another statistic that stated most costumes are very expensive and many families might not be able to afford dressing up for this great holiday. The Halloween video featured creative and fun costumes that are easy to make and mostly use items that are all under $5. We had a nerd, a witch, a mummy, a cowgirl, a princess, and even a pirate. After creating this video, we decided to make a cool and interactive website to alert our school about this video. This website included our mission statement, our goals, and more. We continued to use this website to write about our future club meetings and other events. Right after the Halloween video, we got right to work with creating Project Restart Club. This after-school club would meet monthly to teach our community how to be more resourceful. First, we had to send a couple of emails to our school administration to make sure that we were able to hold the club at our school. Our days were clear for after school and that we knew the regulations we needed to have in order for our club to be safe. After getting the green light for our admin, we got our supplies, set up a date, and got the word out to our students. The way we got the word out was by putting a cute and informational pamphlet on our cafeteria tables. This way, our students would know how to sign up and when the date was. Finally, the date of our first club came. The first club was solely based on time management. This was so that the students could adapt to the newly busy schedules they were getting from coming back to school. It featured working as a team under a time limit, creating a helpful schedule and an escape room. This process repeated for all the future clubs and it was a booming success. Some examples would be our club that featured sewing, making ice cream in a bag, gardening, and saving money for shopping. This club was very popular among our students with 20 people that ended up coming to every club. Keeping up with the clubs, we decided to get a start on our basic needs and food drive. In late December, we came to the conclusion that our donations could include other basic needs such as toothpaste, deodorant, unused socks, etc., as well as food. Before we even started the club, we had to email our administration. Thanks to our vice principal, Mr. Andrews, we were also able to get advice from experienced adults which were Miss Thornton and Miss Miles. They were very helpful and even directed us to the Grace Food Pantry, a local donation organization. The Grace Food Pantry loved our ideas and let us turn in our items when the drive was done. We quickly got to work and created the flyers and posters to get the word out to our school. The flyers and posters included the date it would be going on for, the items we needed, and the fact that there would be a fun donut party for the winning homeroom class. Soon don't we were able to gather a variety of donations ranging from canned goods to toothbrushes to shampoo, etc. Every Friday from January 4th to February 22nd, we went around to the homeroom classes and picked up these donations. We stored them in our FPS coaches' classroom until their pickup day on February 25th. We set aside some deodorant, toothpaste, toothbrushes, socks, and combs to set up hygienic goodie bags. We gave these goodie bags out to our local homeless shelters. Overall, we were able to collect over a thousand donations. We believe our business drives taught our students how to reach out to help our community. It taught them how to band together, be resourceful, and how to assist each other in these rough conditions. We decided to get together into pairs and create our Restart DIY videos. Jack and Ava created the Fixing a Stool and Leaving a Tip video. Amber and Sakrachina made a video about creating hand sanitizer. Zoe and Maddie created hand soap and Aubrey and Ella taught the audience how to make laundry detergent. And finally, Karina and Ali's video is about making sandwich and fries. As the year comes to a close, we are excited about our progress so far. We plan to do one more club meeting, thanking our members for their contributions all year long. We hope that we have made a lasting impact on our students 